No? Good? Okay. Well, thank you for coming okay. to a yeah. difficult session. Um, we'll continue the hearing. We won't close it um, because there might be some questions when we get the few answers to stuff, especially with the balloon flying. September we'll, 1st would be great if we can do it. No, it's full. <laughs> what? <laughs> September 15th. Is that okay with you? I mean, you're not busy. Be I only work two days a week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <week. No, yeah. laughs> we haven't seen you in a while. Getting old. <laughs> okay. uh, if it has to be, yes. And um, when we know when the balloons are going to be set, We'll notify the clerk of the board. Do you want us to somehow notify anybody else? I mean, I guess. Well, yeah, how, what's what's what's? I, 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 I mean, I think I that agree we, notifying the abutters, but what's a good way to notify the abutters? Mail. Mail. Get a sign and put before. the balloons will be flying. Well, my hope is that none of you will see them, so you do need to be uh, notified. Well, that, that may not be a bad idea. How about if you put a sign on the North Maple? Can you put a sign on the North Maple and uh, Rocky Hill Road entrances that, that give, just gives the date of the balloons flying? It's not our land, but... Um, I'm asking, that's, that's why I'm asking if you can do that. Um, we don't have authority to, but... Do you have permission to put it on my piece of property in the corner of yeah, Kentfield right Dry and Hyde Meadow? Go. Good. Yeah, do Thank that. you. Will, will that be enough and for all of you? And Rocky Hill Road. Uh, 107 Rocky Hill Road is another one. Okay. No, but no, I'm saying... No, no, the sign is notifying us. Okay. Thank you. We'll find a way to get it to the board and to at least select yeah, that, the that's right. leave it. I don't, without sending us, without sending out a letter, you know, yeah. th this way, if the, the, on this particular day, if the signs are up to the people that drive those, I'm sure most people are going to see it and they can pass the word on to others. We I've just told probably get it on channel, uh, channel 192. <laughs> Mr. Maxwellski, I just told you that you're not going to be able to see the balloons. I spent two hours telling you hope. that. That's right. <laughs> well, that's fine. And that's the, and if the balloons are up on this date and the neighbors can't yep. see them? I just want to make sure if for some reason they go up and a day later they blow away the, or whatever. The, the, the height of the balloon should be the height of the, the 34, feet. 35 feet. 34 and a half feet. Yep. Okay. Okay, not something that's 200 feet in the air, just the height of the building at the four corners. And if the people can't see it... Good. Right. That may be a good thing, it may be a bad thing, but uh, at least they're up there. And if you're going to work to see them, you may feel better, you may feel worse. It may be no difference in your opinions, but at least there's an effort to show you what from your house or wherever it's going to be. Okay. Ultimately, I don't know. For, for 30 feet, I don't know if we even need balloons. Can't? Is it? Uh, stick? Yeah. How about it? How about just? Uh, we will find a way to show it. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, actually something. That's not going to show perspective enough. How about if we, how about if we just frame the place and you can take a look and see what you think? I, I think I think balloons are going to be the most <laughs> economical, ec economical, economical and easily to see. Can we just put a stick on? I mean, unless the stick is five foot in diameter, from 400 feet away, it's not going to be very visible. Could you leave them up for a while? Oh, we'll leave them up for a little while. I'm just afraid that if we put them up and a thunderstorm comes and they blow away, that you haven't had the opportunity to do it again. Tell them to put a key out. They'll okay. ask you at the next meeting. Right. Yeah, it's a 10-day outlook. It tells you if thunderstorms are coming. And that's right 25% of the time. So, for, so the, the, the hearing will be continued to September 15th to 7-15, probably right here. And is there, before we leave, is there anything else the board would like to see to help them with the decision that we can provide? Can you reduce the building further in size? How small can you go? Seriously. The answer is yes. Okay, we, could, we could knock a square foot off. We can knock 10. We can knock 100. How, how, I'm, I'm not going to say we want 75,000 square feet, but how small can you, how much can you reasonably reduce it still meet your needs and try to appease us some more and the neighbors. Okay. We, uh, we spent a lot of time from the last meeting until now trying to figure out how to make these long-range goals work, and this is what we came out with. 
I've been before you a number of times, and you know that I never say no, I can't, or whatever, that, that I love to find a compromise because the last thing that five colleges wants to be involved in is any kind of a dispute with the town litigation. We, and the, we don't want it either. And the last thing you want to do. So I am happy to explore whatever this board and the neighbors say would be suitable. Um, does this fill our long-range goals? Probably not. Would 100 or 75? Probably not. Does that mean we wouldn't do it? I don't know. I'm happy to sit down and bang heads if, if somebody here were to tell me, look, you know, we, we something wanna, like this would be acceptable. Do you, do you want a number out, out of us, or do you just want to look see what you can do? Either I will do both. I mean, if I knew where you stood, it would make it easier for me to if bang heads. If you come in at 75,000 square feet, we wouldn't have much, and we would be hard-pressed to say no to it for any reason whatsoever. May I ask if that's we or you? That's my opinion. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pardon me? Okay. And uh, hopefully Mr. Mikskowski is watching and uh, paying attention, and we'll see what he is. So, but, okay. at that point, I just want to make a, a brief announcement. Mr. Mikskowski was not able to join us tonight. However, uh, Hadley has adopted a state statute, Chapter 40, I forget what the section number is, that uh, does say that a member of a committee who misses a meeting can, if he watches the video either either live or recorded uh, as long as he catches up he can participate in the decision so we expect that we will have all of that in uh, in place for the next meeting he should be that's just the section you asked for okay 39 section 23d okay we will explore um, heard from one member but that's it so we'll do what we can um, and we are not you know in any way trying to um, permit something that we don't need we do need it um, but we'll obviously do our best having listened to the neighbors most importantly and what what they think um, and we I think we've made strides and we'll try to continue to okay thank you thank you uh, we will see you on the 15th at 7 15 yes Thank you right for now, you're the only thing on the agenda at that time. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. And because this is the 18th, there, there will be nothing else scheduled for it. We can possibly a continuance on from the first, but I kind of doubt it. Okay. Thank you. Second. Thank you. 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 Th